Welcome to the Rhythm Skydiving Instructional Series. I'm your coach, Steve Lefkowitz. In this video, we'll talk about the two-way side body exit. The two-way side body exit consists of a diver and a floater. The floater stands with his right heel just in the center of the door. His weight is on the ball of his foot with pressure leaning slightly forward into the wind. His left leg is strong and out in the wind. The floater's chest and hips are already open to the relative wind as he stands in the door. His right hand is on the bar forward of his right foot. His left hand is on the bar in front of his right hand. The diver stands in the door with his left foot forward and right foot back. His left foot is on the edge of the door, just behind the floater's right foot. In the front to back direction of the airplane, the diver's right foot is in line with his left foot. His stance is wide enough to be comfortable. The diver's right arm takes the floater's right arm. His left arm takes the floater's right leg. The diver's chest and hips are already presented to the relative wind while standing inside the plane. When the floater is ready and there's stillness from the diver, he begins his count. The count is slow and deliberate enough to allow the diver to exit in sync with the floater. The floater indicates the exit with a swing of his leg. Out, in, out. On the in, he is loading up on his right leg like a spring. On the out, the floater pushes off the plane. Up, away, and a little forward into the wind. He should leap up as much as he can. Away, enough to give room for the diver to get out of the plane. And into the wind so as not to get blown immediately backwards as his foot leaves the plane. Off the door, the floater should be straight up and down though it might help to think of leaving with his hips slightly further away than his shoulders. Even if the exit is not immediately perfect, don't give up. Both flyers should continue to work to stay presented to the relative wind while maintaining the side body picture. The diver gets into position and remains still, communicating to his partner his readiness for the count. As the count comes, he may rock slightly with the floater to help him stay in sync. On in, his weight transfers to his right foot. On the last out, he pushes off his right foot, driving his hips and left side down, keeping his body sideways relative to the floater. He drives his hips down, away, and a little backwards through the rear half of the door. He should drive down as much as he can, almost trying to get below the floater rather than coming out over or above the floater. He should launch away just enough to get his hips out the door and he should drive backwards enough to sneak out behind the floater rather than pushing through him. He should begin to move off the plane just as the last out comes. It should feel like he is trying to just beat the floater off the plane rather than following after. As he leaves the plane, the diver continues to work on keeping right side high and left side low, keeping his hips and shoulders presented to the relative wind. He continues to make a good side body picture with his partner. Let's review the exit one more time. Picture yourself performing the exit perfectly. See yourself getting into position, knowing exactly where you'll put each foot and each hand, and exactly how your weight is balanced on your feet. Look at your partner and take a deep breath before the exit begins. Know where you are trying to go immediately off the door. You're now ready for your skydive. Thank you for watching the Rhythm Skydiving Instructional Series. For more videos like this, please visit www.rhythmskydiving.com videos. Have a great jump.